Hello everyone, I'm Karen Williams from cyberdesigns.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a simple logo using Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Open up Adobe Photoshop, click on File menu, click New or press Ctrl N. A new window will pop up. Rename it. I'm going to rename it to CDZ logo. Then adjust the file size. I'm going to adjust it to 1000 pixels for width and 500 pixels for height. Press OK. Here we are going to draw our logo. So click on the Eclipse tool and draw an eclipse. Now choose a color for the eclipse. I'm going to choose white so that the background color is similar to that of the eclipse color. Right click on the layers and click on blending options. Check stroke and then adjust the stroke size. I'm going to adjust it to 16 pixels. Yes, 16 pixels. Now choose the fill type. I'm going to choose gradient. Choose a color for the gradient. And then fill in the values that is FFA203. And then click OK and choose another color and fill in the values that is FF4FO2 and then click OK. Now you'll get a colored eclipse. Choose the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle on top of the eclipse so that a portion of it is hidden. Click on the layers, choose the blending options, uncheck stroke, and then click OK. Choose the Move tool and adjust the rectangle according to the requirement. Now choose the Rectangle tool again and draw a rectangle which is more in height than width. Choose the Move tool and adjust the rectangle. Choose a color for the rectangle. I'm going to choose black. Click OK. Choose the rectangle tool again and draw another rectangle so that the two are joined together. Again choose the rectangle tool and draw a smaller rectangle on top of the two already drawn. Choose the move tool and adjust the rectangles. Now choose the Eclipse tool and draw a smaller eclipse in the middle of the bigger, bigger one. Choose the Move tool and adjust the smaller eclipse. Now choose the Text tool and choose the area in which to write the text. For the text you have to choose the font style. I'm going to choose Helvetica LT Condensed Light and choose the Fonts, uh, font point. I'm going to choose 110 points and then write down the text. I'm going to write cyber designs. Choose the move tool and adjust the text. Now choose the crop tool and crop it around the logo. So here comes the final logo. So that's all for today. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll be back soon with another interesting tutorial.